Hello and welcome back to TGTV and more specifically welcome back to a very sunny and very spring-like London. Today I'm out rather excitingly with my brand new Aston Martin Vantage AMR. I still don't know how to say it actually. Vantage V-A-S AMR. AMR Vantage. I don't know. Anyway, it's here. I'm very excited. It's very clean. The sun is shining. There are daffodils out and spring very definitely is in the air. However, I'm not here to talk about the seasons. I'm here to talk about Pretty much my first drive, first proper drive in the Aston Martin, but I've got a new key for the Aston. Now that's not to say that I don't like the original key that comes with the car, which is here. I do quite like it. Um, it is actually quite annoying though. I found that you can't put a key ring on it. You can't put your keys on it. It's not really a key. It's just kind of a, a, a lump. This piece of wearable tech, I've got it on right now, and I'm going to talk you through some details, exactly what it is, exactly what it costs, exactly what it's made of, exactly how it works, and all sorts of other bits and bobs. And we're going to go for a hoon in the Aston Martin. So all in all, it's going to be a very interesting and slightly different video to my usual churns. So uh, yeah, come along, I'm going to I'm take you around. Now. Yeah, he is here actually. I don't, I don't know whether you're turning off or uh, staying, staying tuned at this I'll point. I'm here to help you film, I'm here to... You're good at filming. Mm -hmm. yep. Yeah, right. you like YouTube. What's going on in there? Anything at the moment? That's chaos. Yeah. No, I, I think it's nice to be out and about in your Aston Martin. There are a group of other supercars around the place as well, so we will be trying to find them. I've just got back from Italy, do you know that? Yeah. On an SVJ drive, which you weren't invited on. <laughs> I wasn't invited. Uh, <laughs> Emma, was, Emma was on the trip as well, wasn't she? Don't be bitter. No, I'm not. I'm just saying Emma's on the trip. Uh, is Paul going as well? Everyone's going apart from you. Mm, okay. <laughs> I've, I've only bought one. Doesn't really matter. <laughs> yeah, Doesn't really exactly. matter. I haven't even driven one of those yet. I've driven it for you. Do you want to yeah. know my feedback? Emma's driven one before me. Yeah, everyone has. Yeah, great. Do you want to know the Brilliant. feedback? Uh, yeah, go on then. You need an exhaust. Is it quiet? It is quite quiet, yeah. Okay, it's well, a very cool car. We'll, we'll get on to that. We'll get on to that. But first, do you want to see more about this, mate? I've got it on. You've been, you've been eyeing me up because I've, I've got this uh, Centurion key on me. Centurion key. Like I mean, it is very. Uh, it's it looks, it looks I'm causing awesome. chaos with it. They are awesome. I think. I mean, yeah. You're going to get questions about it, and. Uh, I like that though, because then I can tell them I've got an Aston Martin, so I like it. So many of you will know I am into my watches. Okay, I'm into having uh, uh, expensive things on my wrist. Anyway, expensive kind of cool design uh, materials and tech on my wrist. Um, so this is, this is kind of a no real departure. However, for the first time ever, I have something on my wrist that actually opens my car, which is chaos. Uh, and it's a little bit more special than that. So I'm gonna take it off, I'm gonna show you it in a second. Because um, this particular piece is around 15,000 pounds. I've probably already put it in the title. Um, but yeah, it's very, very special. It's more than a Rolex Daytona, um, but with good reason because there's, there's a lot of stuff going on in here. It is not just uh, it's not just a kind of a silly timepiece. There is a lot going on in here, so I'm going to take it off. I'm going to show you very shortly what it's all about. Right, so then I have taken the key off my wrist to show you guys and girls a little bit better. And before you turn me off, this here is PPF. So the key is sat on PPF. So everyone, chill out. Stop having a go at me. Everything's okay. Okay then, so what do we have here? We have, a, it's called a Centurion key. It's the world's most exclusive car key. And it's, I think, the world's first wearable car key as well. So, these keys that work with Ferrari, Porsche, McLaren, all the usual brands, right? And what the engineers do, I'm gonna come in here because it's a little bit windy actually. We'll come inside with me. So what the engineers do with these keys is they take your spare key for your supercar and they miniaturize the circuits. And then what they do is they put that inside this wearable key. It reminds me actually a little bit of a, a Richard Mill watch. And uh, yeah, you'll be rustling Jimmy's wearing one of these. Anyway, so what they do is they put the circuit inside, uh, the, inside the key here and then you can wear it. But it's very, very cool because you can see all the mechanics inside it. And with all Centurions as well, they are all limited edition and you can personalize them with literally any material you want. So you can do gold, platinum, uh, titanium, uh, silver, and you can also get a piece of a meteorite, an actual legit meteorite inside the key, which is 
absolute chaos. And there's these little kind of piston things in here, which are very, very cool. I'll just, uh, I'll just show you. I can't really do it with the two hands. Hold on. Don't know if you can pick this up. Oh yeah, here we go. Right, so we've got these pistons inside, and there's actually moving parts as well, so you can see that when I close that there, it's all functional and working inside there. So the buttons here are to control and obviously lock and unlock your car, as you'd expect. And going back to the point about the circuits then, it's very important to know, especially in this day and age with uh, car theft being so rife, that the circuits are actually miniaturised and not replicated. That is very, very important. The whole process in terms of sending your key off and getting the circuits miniaturized, that is all done remotely. So there's absolutely no need for you to be there and waste your precious time. This has actually also got forged carbon on it, I believe, which is quite cool. And forged carbon you've obviously seen on the Lamborghini Huracan Performante and many other cars and also watches, I believe, Audemars PJ and some other brands that use forged carbon on their, uh, their pieces. And it's got this kind of uh, deployant clasp on it as well, which is very, very similar to many uh, high-end watches as well and it kind of snaps open and shut very nicely I think there's a bit of a magnetic field in there as well uh, and it's on quite a stiff spring as well which is nicely nicely fitting cool stuff so then going back to the point where I said you can actually get a piece of legit meteorite inside this thing Centurion actually own a 4.9 billion year old meteorite did you know that Archie mm -hmm. the company behind Centurion they own a meteorite do you own a meteorite? No. Okay, is it 4.9 billion years old? No. No, you don't own one. It's they called they it, own one. It's called Gibeon. And you can, and they will slice a bit off it and put it inside this car key. Mm. That is chaos. That's actual chaos. Mm. Yeah, okay. I just thought I'd come out and let you know that. No, I think that is. Okay, you can go back to Hinge now. Any security concerns are addressed by the fact that it uses RFID technology uh, to block the signal, so there is absolutely no chance that this thing will be used to pinch your beloved motor. There are some famous clients out of Centurion Keys. I believe Mr. Shmee 150 himself. You like Shmee, don't you? Mm -hmm. Shmee's a good friend of yours. Yeah. I like Shmee, to be fair. Shmee has one of these. Mr. Usain Bolt, of all people, has one of these. Uh, I think he's paired it with his gold Nissan GTR. Did you know that? I know now. And the Prince of Monaco also has one of these. As I said before, the prices start at £15,000. And depending on your customization uh, choices, depending on whether, whether or not you want uh, pieces of meteorite or platinum or whatever it is you want, literally anything you want, it can go all the way up to £250,000, which is chaos. What makes it £250,000 over £15,000? Well, well the cho your choice of materials, lad, as I was just touching does on. Does it not just start anyway with... Okay. No, well, it starts at £15,000. Um, for a more base model like this, although this is still chaos. Is it heavy? No. Yeah, yeah. Oh, well, it's actually quite light and quite comfortable. Oh, it is light. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it's on rubber, and I think uh, the majority of that's actually titanium. So titanium is typically a very strong, very light material, uh, and there's forged carbon on there and all sorts of bits and bobs. Mate, if you went to raffles with that on, you'd be causing trouble. I don't think you would. No, because birds would be coming up to you and they'd be asking, "What's that?" And they'd be like, "I'll tell you what that is, actually." That that is that. Uh, funnily enough, the key for my uh, my Lamborghini. My Lamborghini. Yep. Uh, which. Uh, I don't have one anymore, but um, that's what I will say. Maybe well, have you not got it anymore? Where is it? Well, you know I'm selling it. Well, I still have it, but I'm selling it. Oh, that, that's how you do that it. That looks like cash on. Yeah. If you saw someone with that on, you'd be like, they're cash. You know they're trouble. You don't have a 15,000 pound car key and up, unless you're trouble. That is sick. Show me it, please. Just show me on the wrist there. What, which one? No, 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 don't boast about that. We're here to see that now. No. That's actually sick. That's chaos. You've got girly wrist, but that's okay. Yeah. No, that's fine. All right. Be careful with it. No, 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 no. No, be careful with it. Honestly, I'm terrified. Just be, that's very expensive, okay? That, that's worth more money than you've got in your Lambo, finance-wise, okay? That's not. Oh, no, it is. <laughs> If you want to see more, uh, <laughs> there's more models available, etc, etc, and you can order one direct off the Centurion website. I'll leave all the links below, uh, and if you get one, make sure you tag me in pictures on Instagram as well. Uh, I am I'm actually broke now. After the F12, I'm actually broke. So you're unlikely to see me spending 250k on a key. Um, I'm not in that league. Archie, you, you are. <laughs> You're a very, very rich man. Um, I don't. When, when I, when after I get my next car, maybe. Have you told them what it is going to be yet? No one. I, even I don't know. What it's gonna be well, yet. I know what it's going to be. You don't know. What it's gonna I be. do know what it's going to be. You, well, you think you know. I think I know. You, you, you're telling me what to get, but you don't know what it's actually. And it's a brand I've already mentioned that that uh, key pairs with. So that gives them uh, not really much. You've mentioned every brand. I know. <laughs> So there are no clues here at this point. Yeah. Um, anyway, we're going to jump in the <laughs> oh, crisps. 
Well. Crisps are giving me asthma, it's chaos. Um, so, is that, is that a thing? That's not a thing. It is now. Uh, we're going to jump in the Aston, we're going to go find some oh other supercars. God. What? Just please stop it because you're actually scared. Just give it back. Okay. I'm going to it back. Thank you very much. No? Just please. Thank you. I actually forgot to show you there. The mid case on this is forged carbon. Uh, I didn't actually show you that probably earlier, but very, very cool. So then, I promised to drive in the uh, AMR, but I've become distracted. So, I became aware that the uh, GT8 Club were around in this area, in the churning circle, should we call it, and I found them. So let's go and take a little look, because there's some serious, serious machines here, and once again, I'm being tempted to do something very financially uh, irresponsible uh, and totally, totally ridiculous, but I'm just so distracted. Hold on, I'm gonna show you what I'm looking at here. So, we have my car here in uh, sterling green, and then we have GT8 here. I will leave the owner's Instagram on the screen anyway with a little pop in Aston Martin Racing Green. And it's just so sick. So this is the GT8 then. Obviously, this is just the AMR. So this is based on pretty much the standard car with a few sort of uh, fiddled bits on it. This is pretty much a road-going version of the Aston Racing Car, which has uh, seen success in uh, Le Mans and all sorts. We're just coming in here. It's just such a cool place to be. So this has got the same seats as my car. It's got the same carbon door skins, but actually the entire door on this car, the entire door on this car on the inside is all carbon. It's slightly more stripped out than my one. Um, a slightly different center console there. We've got the same wheel that is uh, trimmed in Alcantara, not leather, and there are no steering wheel controls. So it is slightly more race focused in here. Um, and you've got a little carbon kick plate there saying Aston Martin Vantage GTA. But the main difference with this car is uh, the bodywork. The door's actually a lot lighter, I've just noticed there. Oh, bloody hell. One has just started up here. I don't think there's many cars that sound better than one of these. So I'm mooting whether or not to get an exhaust on mine. And a big deciding factor. Yeah, they sound absolutely unbelievable. Oh, I need to get an exhaust. Sounds nearly as good as yours. What? Sounds nearly as good as yours. Thank you, Mark, but that's a lie. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, as I was saying before, the so very, that have very exhaust on it. Sorry, sorry. Uh, titanium exhaust. Really? So that's got the. This one has it too as well. This has got the Aston Martin titanium racing system on the GT8, um, and it's made me realise that I very much need an exhaust on my car. Anyway, interesting fact. This has got the widest track of any. Aston Martin ever, even the racing cars. It's got a wider track. It's chaos, look how wide it is. <laughs> You're not getting through any width restrictions in that. You're not going through those uh, narrow side-by-side -side things. Whatever. Super wide Tom, track, it's wider than the GT12. The GTA Club. Uh, we can do if you want. Filippo, hello. This We're, this You're in a vlog here. Hello, sir. So this is the owner of the Racing Green GT8 that I've been uh, fawning over for the past sort of 10 minutes or so. Uh, and I now realise that I need one, so thanks for that. It's been a very no expensive morning. Um, I will leave the details. If you're into GT8, so there's GT8 Club on Instagram. Make sure you go and follow it. Um, Filippo's Instagram has already been on the screen, but make sure you follow the GT8 one as well. Because there's lots of uh, noisy GT8s on there, which we like. Anyway, there are more cars here. I'm going to go and take you around the, uh, the other ones. And there's a particular yellow one as well that I'm going to, going to point out. It's uh, very exciting. No. You like that one, don't you? No. What? No. Why do you keep saying no? Are you broken? No. All right, we've got a uh, black and orange GT8 here, which looks absolutely sick. Um, very cool spec, actually. I don't think I've seen this spec before in a GT8. Must be probably the only one in the country, if not the world. Um, but other interesting facts about the GT8 compared to my AMR is the fact that this whole rear piece here, the whole boot is carbon. It's one big piece of carbon. Obviously, you've got the massive uh, carbon wing on there. And obviously, this rear diffuser as well, which is a huge piece of carbon. This thing is just cool. And I'm now wound up. Should I get a GT8? I mean, obviously, it's a lot more of an exciting car. But in terms of where it fits into my garage, I just don't know whether I want the GTA in terms of usability. Anyway, that's a discussion for another day, and I'm going to try and get out in one of these and do a proper video. But I love these. I absolutely love these, and they are very good value at the moment, as are the AMR Vantage as well. I think people have slept a lot on the uh, 
naturally aspirated uh, Aston Martin bits and bobs and it's such a cool brand I think now is the time if you're going to do it jump into one of these because prices have softened and they're not going anywhere if you uh, we were discussing this earlier actually with Felipe over there we were saying that if you go into a supercar at the moment and you buy for power only that's going to get usurped within six months I mean look at Lambo they're just bringing model after model after model McLaren model after model something like this is a point in time they don't make stuff like this anymore uh, this has got racing heritage, it's got full kind of carbon bodywork, it's just sick. Anyway, speaking of sick, we've got an Aventador SV, and not my Aventador SV, must be said, and they'll be uh, instantly denoted by the fact that there are yellow calipers here. Mine do not have, uh, does not have yellow calipers, and I've got gloss bits on here as well, so this is slightly different to my one, very, very slightly different. I think I've got, I oh know I have got carbon on the Z, that's carbon as well, but mine's got the gloss carbon as well, so it's slightly different to this. But it's just got so much presence, just sat here with all these other cars. Lots of wings here today, and my car doesn't have a wing, so I'm feeling very, um, very insignificant in comparison, but we love an SV. We love an SV, and there we go. Sick. It's cool that there is a yellow SV here, and I, I've got an SV update as well, so the SV currently is not in my garage. I don't actually know when I'm putting out this video, um, but I've had a little issue with the SV, so... Um, no doubt I will clickbait a video on that very soon, but it's not in my garage anymore. It's a, it's a service centre uh, being fiddled with. But it's nothing major, don't worry everyone. But there'll be a video coming on that, so I'll bore you with that very soon. But very good to see one of them. Catch you very soon. Ciao for now. Bye, mate. <laughs> nearly, uh, nearly a refurb wheel there. <laughs> right, we are off then. We are leaving uh, this churning circle. You see what I've done there? New churning circle. The new churning circle for well, the summer. Welcome yeah. everyone. I used to churn videos here back in the day. Now we're, we're moving the churning circle to the to where we are. Okay, so that is it from me and, and the Vantage. I didn't actually get to do much proper driving today. I was just like, sort of talking to friends and just like milling around and pointing at cars and looking at cars and listening to cars make noises. So anyway, that's uh, that was what I've done with my Sunday anyway. And that's what Archie's done with his Sunday as well. Um, make sure anyway, you check out Centurion Key. I've got it right here. Uh, this is my new car key, as I've touched on before. Anyway, that's well, it. No, well, 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 no, I don't think people have seen you driving your Aston Martin before. This is the first time people are probably seeing you driving in, in your car, funnily enough. Uh, since I, I went to look at it in the first place and then ended up buying it. Yeah, since, you, since it's under your ownership. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, it's not really a proper drive today. We've just kind of come into London, but... But how are you enjoying it? to say, I'm really, really, really enjoying this car. I absolutely love it. Um, and I just, I think this is going to be a, a keeper. Yeah, what, well, the thing is, it's such good value for money, and what would you replace it with? And with what the market's doing on some of the, on some of the really new stuff, like the brand new cars, and most cars now being like, like supercars and whatever, being sort of 350 grand, I just think this is just a great place to be. And you've got that. And I've got that, which no modern cars have anymore, really. Right. Um, no, it is awesome. It is really, really cool. And yeah. it gets a lot of attention. Yeah, people do enjoy this car. It gets like, a lot of like nice reactions. Whereas when you're in the Lambo, you do occasionally get people swearing at you. No one really. Everyone did that to me. Yeah, it's probably your face in there as well. Yep. yep. Okay. Mm -hmm. So this car is probably going to come to Monaco. You reckon? Yep. This um, is the one I'm going to bring with me. I'm going to try and get an exhaust on it by then. Which is another video. Mm -hmm. yeah, okay. Oh yeah. Another video. See, they do enjoy it. Yeah, they enjoy it. There's a 320 grand Aventador S Roadster behind me, and people are staring at this car just as much as that. It's actually true. It's true. They they do they do enjoy it. But that is not that's not what's important about these cars. The important is the driving experience and the manual box and hearing the V8 Vantage. But it's got that kind of low end, kind of crunky whirring noise that you get in kind of like I don't know. It's just really analog. And when you actually put it in gear, it goes. Clunk. Yeah, yeah, it's a really, 
Everyone just refers to it as a manly gearbox, and I know that's probably a very sexist thing to say. That's just it? that. Yeah, you you can't say that. Oh, shut up, as if you care. <laughs> um. <laughs> Yeah, so that's it's good. Anyway, I'm going to end the video there. Thank you so much for watching. As I say, do make sure you check out the Centurion. Um, I'll leave all the links below. Yeah, there we go. It's on. It's on. Uh, that's just showing it again, Les. Ah, oh, thanks so much. Anyway, I'll see you again very, very soon. Uh, subscribe as well. Subscribe. You can. Please, thanks very much. Thank you. Bye-bye now.